and welcome to Coffee Walker. We're gonna do something different today. Just got a fresh lead on an 81 Scrambler. It's a local Jeep, but it's close. So I'm gonna take y'all with me. If I don't get there quickly, it'll get sold. Now, from 1981 to 1985, they made approximately 28,000 Scramblers. They're absolutely one of my favorite Jeep marks of all time. I love them. At Collins Motors, we've had over 1,100 Scramblers through our shop. That's a remarkable number. Seeing as a large number of the 27 or 28,000 that were built were exported. This particular one's in 1981, which is the most common year. So first, they made about 8,000 of them. By looking at the pictures, it looks to be original paint, original stripe kit. It was a Renegade model, which had base, Renegade, and then Laredo. Now, what I'm looking for, and it looks to be, is a rust-free Jeep. I ran the Carfax history before I left. I ran the Texas history and the Jeep history, and it's all clean. So I just called Alex, told him to get over here. Kelsey's here early this morning. She's filming. Thanks for being here, Kels. Of course. We're going to jump in the truck, get it started up. Alex will roll up any minute, and hopefully we'll have a Jeep Scrammer on the trailer within 45 minutes. Let's go. Ready to rock? I'm ready to go. I got my coffee, got the AC on, and Alex is here. Sir. I'm Dennis and you're Dennis, right? Yeah. yeah. The two Dennises. Hope that's good or bad. So what can you tell me about it? I think it's been Jimmy for it's been Jimmy for 20 years. It started up every time. We, you know, You've owned it for 20 years? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I got a short cop to it, hard cop to it back there, but we can tell me it was uh, aftermarket. Yeah. Thomas Weeks from uh, Misfits Garage gave us his lead. So, thank you for that. Power steering, power brakes, and smoke pump still on it. The brakes are working real good now because it's been sitting for two years. Okay. They bled down, they need, they need to be bled. But run into something if you're not careful. It starts and runs now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, the good thing is it's a T176. In 81, they also had an SR4, which is a terrible transmission. Rust. The floors look like they're good. It's original paint. But it's going to need restoration. It's not going to be like a survivor, I don't think. So, so you do have top and doors for it? And the doors are definitely aftermarket, and the hard top is aftermarket too. And you got a clear Texas title to it? Yeah. All right. That's it. I already looked it up. So if you'll sign right there. What color is this? Well, let's see. Pop up the hood and bring the color code off of the firewall. So on the firewall right here, on this tag, will be the color code, which is one, one E as in Edward, and that's hopper brown metallic. Okay. Show you something else that's unusual on this Jeep. This rail right here is where you would have tucked in a tonneau cover, and that's why it has all the snaps down here. So this Jeep left the factory used to have a tonneau cover on it. original Renegade Scrammer, which is an SR, which is the middle line between the base and the Laredo. Rust-free, local Texas Jeep that was literally less than 20 miles from the shop. So 
got it bought, got a clean title, we can get on the trailer and get rolling with it. So watch us strap it down, another one back to Cole's Brothers. Again, we've had over 1,100 of the 28,000 scramblers. You don't really need brakes to grind them. The reason we want the strap on the top hooked to the Jeep and not to the trailer is because the Jeep is bouncing up and down like this and we either break the strap or break the top. We strap it like this, the top is moving with the Jeep. How do I know that? Probably from experience. Probably a prior fail. Yeah, there we go. The world's quickest car deal. That's 10 minutes. Thank you, Dennis. Yep. Yes, that was all real. We never stage anything. We literally did this deal from leaving Coffee Walk to about 15 or 20 miles from the shop. It's the first time, only second time I talked to the guy. I talked to him on the phone literally this morning before we left. And I don't think we were here more than 10 minutes. Way to go, team.